All right, Dan, welcome to a very special, I'm super excited video review for Titan's Return Overlord. Uh, I skipped Sky Shadow. Uh, I, I did finally see him in person at a store a couple weeks ago, and I uh, passed. Because I've been waiting for, for Overlord, and finally now, here he is in all of his wonderful jet tank glory. Anyway, let's not get too carried away. He's fun. I like him. Anyway, um, so yeah, you get the jet and the tank. You get the instruction manual with all the cool little bits and steps to transform him. You get his bio card, Decepticon Overlord, with Dreadnought is his Titan Master. And he's got some very... See, it's sleight of hand. Anyway, it wasn't really. Decepticon Overlord, Dreadnought, his stats with and without Dreadnought attached. His firepower jacks up to the max. When he's got a Titan Master attack, his, uh, his speed not so much, and his brains are okay, and his muscles are decent. But his shooting missile ballistics is uh, all the way up to 20, with the big glowy orange bar. So he's super shooty. Anyway. And some cool control art. Headmaster, but, eh, you know, that's just, that's, that's the deal here. So you've got the jet and the tank halves of Overlord. Very cool. The tank, uh, they're both very basic. Uh, the tank, this is what you see is what you get. He's got some rolly wheels down here. The treads don't work. Uh, the turret does not rotate because it splits in half. And the gun does not rotate either. It just kind of plugs in there like that. Cool. But it is a, it's a fun little tank. I know that it, it's simple. You can see kind of his thighs and his waist piece here underneath. It's a simple tank. But I'm a simple man, and it's, it's, it, I like to roll it around. It's a fun little tank. I really dig it. Um, my, only real, my only real complaint is that when you flip the panels out, flip the turret things out of the legs, it does have a gap here. Now, that it, it's less offensive once you get them fully transformed because the legs do kind of fill in the hollowness, but, like, I don't know why there's this gap here. It would have been nice if they could have engineered it in such a way that uh, there wasn't a big old groove on each side of the tank that you can, that you can see through. Hi. Hi, how you doing? But, uh... That's a minor oversight. It's a fun little tank. You can hold it right in your hand. It fits right in your hand. You just go... It's fun. And the jet also is swooshy. It's not too big. Um, he is smaller than his original G1 counterpart um, and the Mastermind version. Uh, he's got these little landing skids that you can flip up if you want to make him more swooshy. And, uh, and again, because of the way he's designed... The arms have a bit of a gap between the body of the jet. But uh, it's less... Eh, I guess it's just as glaring as the grooves on the tank. But it's forgivable because look at look at his cockpit. It's cool. And he's got a nose cone with a Decepticon symbol on it. And some purple cones. And some teal. And he's really fun. They're fun together. Now, I, I haven't figured out a way to make them hook them i know i think overlord like i don't know if it was if it if the overlord pictures i saw were just like the jet resting on top of the tank or if they actually connected because again i haven't messed with the toy i have not found a way to do the same with these guys i have not found a way to make make this happen i would love to but no it, it, it's not in the instructions and if it's out there please tell me because i would love to do it but i, ha like I tried sticking this up into here does that work no that piece is just too wide. Oh well, I tried. He has, you can see the chest weapons, but they don't do anything. They're just painted on. So jet and tank. Jet and jet and tank. That's what you get. He does have some foil stickers, these stripes on his turbines, uh, the, on the fins. This is paint, the teal and silver here is paint. This is a silver sticker. Uh, the only one that really bugs me is this Decepticon logo because you can see the arms are mirrors of each other and like the Decepticon logo over here is right over an actual fairly uh deep groove so if it just sits there it's fine but if you you know grab them too hard by the shoulders you're going to end up pushing that sticker down into the groove and it may not look as good but for uh for Titan's Return it's actually uh yeah it's actually uh fairly decently applied stickers uh there's a couple here on his shins which we'll show in robot mode they're kind of hiding under there you can see the silver and these two little decepticon logos on either side of the tank i think that's it if i find another one 
I'll, I'll let you know. But, uh, but yeah, they're actually applied fairly decently. They're not, uh, they haven't been peeling off. They're not in problematic areas, like right, right up against a hinge where folding the hinge is going to start bending them up. So that's, that's a bonus. It would have been nice if it were paint. Takaras may have paint. They just announced their LG 60, I think is the number today for their overlord. So he's coming from Takara as well. You're welcome. I bought, I got this today and, uh, now, of course, Takara announces their own. But so, yeah, Jet Tank. To turn him into a robot, you have to get this gun out of here. So you just pull this out. It's a little easier if you go ahead and pull the waist out, because without these in the way, you can kind of twist it a little bit. But, like, it actually, what really holds it in place, it has this little purple piece that fills in this gap here. But what really holds it in place is that it just pegs into this hole right here. Just like that. I mean, you can go down further, but since I'm going to take it right back off, I didn't want to push it in too far. Now, you can, if you just want to have the tank over here, you can plug this into the back of the... Oh, does that does that work? Does that, does that maybe lock this? I did not unlock a secret, and it still remains not joinable. Um, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's actually for, for base mode, that hole, but if you want to put the gun on the J, you can. But so anyway, split, pull that off. And you want to come under here, you have to pull these tabs out because these tabs attach into the, the connector piece here. And then this whole assembly, you can, see, you can see this is waist and hip assembly, rotates up out of the legs. There's those shiny silver stickers I was talking about on the panels. Uh, split the legs and then rotate these around, revealing those said shiny stickers. And there is a little tab on the side of the tank tread that plugs into here. So make sure when you fold it back, you click it all the way into place so it locks locks in there. And same over here. It's down on the lower half of this side. So do that. Uh, bring the heel up like that, just straight up. And then the toe piece comes up. And there's actually a hinge there. you got to kind of lift it up to make it flat as a foot. And there's the lower half of his body. Let's bring this up a little bit. Bring it on up. Bring it on up. Bring it on up. Sorry. I watched Attack the Block tonight for the first time. It was good. I quite enjoyed it. And but now I got a bunch of boom chicadant to that Joe shoot from aliens. Anyway. Um, so for the jet. Oh also, Dreadnought hides in here. He's not really Giga or Mega. Um but slightly evocative of either. Um gray paint with a teal head or gray body, it's not paint. It's black plastic, gray plastic, teal head. And then of course Overlord's face on the other side. Wish they would have made this blue to match his helmet so it blended in a little better, but it's black and that's just how you're gonna have to like it. So yeah, there he is. He sits in the cockpit. He can also sit, I forgot to show this off, but he can also open up the cockpit of the tank and he can sit in there as well. It depends on which vehicle you want him to drive. I think the jet's cooler, although I do like the tank. Anyway, but he rides in there. Anyway. You can still keep him back there on the back of the leg if that's if you're mean, I guess. So you bring this down. This whole assembly folds down onto the back of the jet. You can see his helmet here. Which we will turn around to the front. Fold these little black winglets down. Extend the arms and flip out the fist. It does give him a little bit of a hollow forearm, but it's not super noticeable. I, mean, I guess if you twist it out, that way it is, but... It's, it's not like this is in t the entire forearm. It does kind of fill itself in a little bit. Extend the arm, and that will reveal the bicep swivel. And there's the upper body. Don't worry. I know. I know. I know. It's coming. Hang on. Be patient. Um, what is that joint for? I don't know. Ow! Why does that come off? Is that supposed to come off? I found another secret. Anyway. So take this half... In this half and you can see this this piece connects mine's a little loose um if you see the connector in here let me zoom in on that or not zoom in but focus it on this there's a little friction connector up here with these little divots that's what locks it in place and you can see it's kind of bent in i may get like some not a tight wad of paper or like a ru some rubber or something to push that out a little bit because those connections are a little loose on mine it makes it a little easier to pop them apart than i would like but you basically just take this Slot it right into the inside of the underside of the jet. 
and click it together. And he, like I said, he will stay together fairly decently. He loses a waste swivel because of that transformation, but it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to pull it out. And maybe that's good because it doesn't, it doesn't like just kind of slightly pull it on and it doesn't come off. Maybe I don't need to fix that. I don't know. But you stand him up. And once he stood up, you focus the camera again because you forgot to do it after you zoomed in on the thing. You did it. Don't even make this about me. Um, unpeg the arms here. Oh, there's a, you hear it click. There's a little tab up here that tabs into the arm. So unclick those to free up their articulation. Open up his helmet. Fold Dreadnought in half and plug them on in. And then fold the helmet down. And there's basically Overlord in robot mode. Now again, I know. You can come down here and unsnap this. Now there's a couple of different ways you can use this. The official way will show in a second. Um, because when you saw me uh, trying to uh, attempting to attach the tank to him there in vehicle mode, I used this little tab here on the front. And there's a little square tab here on the jet. Because if you want, I don't know if this is a preview of yet another repaint of this figure, or if this was something Sky Shadow used, I don't recall it, but uh, you can plug this onto his front and give him a chest shield. Looks a little silly, but you can do it, and that's really the point of everything, is that you can do it, so you should. There are some things you shouldn't do, and if you can do them and you shouldn't do them, then don't do them. But anyway, bring this down, flip out this little peg here, from inside the thing and flip that back up. Gotta make sure this is folded down or it's gonna interfere. But then this little peg, it can go on either shoulder, but it's more traditionally over here on his left arm. So we'll plug that in. And then he's got his little space baby or whatever they called it. And then he can hold his gun slash rifle in either hand. It's a little small for Overlord. I feel like he needs a slightly bigger rifle for a figure of this stature and magnitude, but there it is. Now, he has no wrist swivels because of transformation. We already saw he has no waist swivel. He does have head swivel, which is nice. Didn't really, I mean, like, he can kind of wiggle that a little bit, but he didn't really have any up and down. But he does have front to back swivel on the shoulders as well as out to the side, as long as you remember to unpeg them. Bicep swivel, uh, hinged elbows to just a smidge more. Well, I mean, that is exactly 90 degrees. It seems like it's like a smidge more, like maybe 91 degrees, 90.5. I don't know. Right to the 9.95. Put your body in Overlord. 9.9 board. Yeah, I know it is boring. I'll shut up. Anyway, he's got to rotate your hips out to the side. Thigh swivel. Also, they swivel to the front. Haven't heard any ratchets on this. I don't feel they are, but everything is pretty secure. Knee joints. Again, about to that far because the tank tread gets in the way, so not quite 90 degrees there. He's got the toe posability and the ankle posability, or the heel posability. He does also have some ankle tilt here, which is nice. So you got a pretty decent range of motion, despite the lack of wrist and waist swivel. All the W swivels are just right out the door on this guy. And of course, if you want to, you can just leave this uh, cockpit piece on, on his back, if you prefer. It's up to you. But I like it on his arm. There he is. Very cool. And of course... If you remember him from the Japanese cartoons, you're going to want a size comparison here. God, Jinrai! So it's probably he's probably a little bit more closely matched to just Jinrai himself in robot mode. God, Jinrai here is much larger, but they look really cool together. I dig it. I do. Do you dig it? Because I dig it. Anyway, there's your size mode comparison. If you have to have more, a more common figure, uh, here he is with the Legends Class Shockwave. Just to get an idea of how... See, Shockwave's only even barely in the bottom of the picture. There you go. Just to give you an idea of how big they are together. Now, one of the features I have not yet shown off is his chest plates. The, like, I said, the, like I said earlier, the weapons here are just painted on. They don't slide out or pop open or anything. But um, these panels do open with slots for some Titan Masters. Now, you can put them in like this. Um, I guess you, you try to put them in like this. There you go. You can put them in with their faces facing forward. 
which uh, seems weird. You can do it, and you can still close these up. You can't lock them all the way in, but you can still close them up. If that's really what you want to do, I'm going to think you're a weirdo, but you can do it. The reason I picked these two, however, is because you can, until the Japanese one comes out and does what I suspect it might do, um, what you can do with these guys is if you turn them around, I picked these two specifically because they were closest I had to like the silver and gold of Giga and Mega, uh, their engine modes. You can turn them around and push them in like this. So he's still using the Titan Master's power, but they, they, they're they more reminiscent of the Power Master engines that uh, he originally came with, uh, Giga and Mega. Now, and you can close those up too if you want. You can leave them in there. Now some people have put them in like this and flipped the legs out to kind of work like chest guns and you've got that option as well this guy keeps getting stuck in here for some reason I'm not sure what it is now what I suspect Takara will do if their uh, Jinrai box set is anything to go off of I think you'll probably get some version of Dreadnought as the headmaster and what they'll probably do is actually do Giga and Mega as Titan Masters but instead of putting a face on the back, they'll screw on an engine detail. There, I saw some art online somebody did, and I'm not sure if it was a sneak peek of the actual box art or just some fan art where somebody had done just that. They had tight, clearly had Titan Masters in his chest, but they had designed, instead of a face, pieces that looked vaguely like the engine blocks. And honestly, even if Takara doesn't do it, somebody on Shapeways will make some engine block pieces for you to stick on Titan Master figures to give him his power masters it's going to happen one way or another you're going to be able to get them but uh i do i have a strong suspicion that that may be what we get with takara we might get an overlord with three titan masters one for his face and two for his chest we'll see or to pilot the, the vehicles i certainly hope that's what they do i will happily buy him again in a heartbeat if they do that i don't know if i'm going for the full jinrai set with cab and minerva but we'll see and of course, he does have a base mode. And the reason I didn't do that first is because it's actually easier to go to base mode from robot mode. So you pull this off, flip that down, and set that off to the side. Same with the gun. And from here, all you do is, again, get his get Dreadnought out. Open him up, set him over here. Turn his head around like you're going to transform him back into a jet. Collapse the arms, bring the fins out, fold the fists in. You don't want to collapse the arms all the way. There's two, you can see there's like two little rectangles here on his arm. Push it up so that oh, the, the joint goes away and there's one left. That's, that's about a good length for them to be. And, and again, because of the way they slide, they don't like click click into place. So uh, you're good. Snap them back onto the body. Under those tabs. There we go. You'll hear him click. Turn them around. Oh, forgot to flip this fist in. Take his legs. This He's got a joint here in the waist. Oh, first you gotta flip this up over his face. Just like you, again, just like you were turning into a jet. These panels come down. There's actually a little tab in here that tabs up into a slot. Pull them all the way down straight. Like that. And then there's a hinge here that rotates up. And that's going to essentially be his base mode. Now let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit since we don't need it quite so high up for this. Flip the heels down. And before you flip the toes in, flip out these little ramps. And these are the pieces that are going to connect to bases, like to either other, other bases or things like Trypticon or Fort Max. These are the pieces you're going to want. Oh, man, Overlord connecting to Fort Max. If you read down DW, that's, that's not a good idea. Um, bring his hips out to the side and rotate them around so the teal parts are facing up. And you'll see there's an extra hinge here in the leg to allow these to bend forward. Bring this up, fold this back down. Actually close that and bend them forward at the gray hinge. And if you've done this right, like I said, right around here, uh, these will help support the rear of the base mode if you've got them at the right length. Leaving one of those rectangles out seems to be a good, decent length for, for starting the base mode. If it's not exact, like I said, you can always kind of slide them up or down to increase that so it all sits flush with whatever you're sitting it on. At that point, the gun, 
fags right in here. It's the same gun hole I was using to show the gun off in jet mode earlier. And then you take this and instead of attaching it like it would be for a jet, rotate it around, use these two clips here, and clip it right back into place there on top. Oh, you may need to, you need to flip this out a little bit. There we go. Oh, we smushed an arm down. But that right there is essentially his base mode. And then you can open up this panel underneath the cockpit. It's, it's a little bit more difficult. I find it's actually easier to open up the cockpit and just push it open from the top. And there's a little Titan Master peg. There's Titan Master pegs all over them. There's these here on the back of what will be the tank mode. There's some here on the back pieces of the jet. Uh, you, you'll see them. And there's a, even a little peg up here in this orange kind of rampart or balcony. And you can plug. You can't just have him stand there too. But uh, so you can plug him in and you have a good base mode. And like I said, he does connect to the larger figures. It's a simple base mode. It looks more like a rocket launching station than the full base that he had in his G1 mode. But all in all, it's, it's cool. I, I got, like I said, I'm less concerned about base mode than I am with the jet tank and the robot. So yeah. I'm super stoked to have him. I'm going to go play with him some more. Uh, definitely worth picking up when he comes out, I think. One, one of my favorites from the Titans Return line. I love the character. I, I admit I do love the character from a lot of the IDW comics from Sins of the Wreckers and More Than Meets the Eye. You might like him as, a, as his Japanese self from Master Force and more power to you. But he's a fun figure. I really like him. His He, he lacks some functionality, I guess, in tank mode with a you know, solid turret. Um, but his jet and tank mode are really fun. He's a cool looking robot. I am looking forward to seeing more details of the Takara release because I'm really hoping they do actual Power Masters for him since they could do it fairly effectively using the tools they have. Um, and the base mode's okay. There's nothing wrong with the base mode. It's just not my favorite mode. But like I said, the stickers could have been worse. And like you can see even here, this one maybe can't tell if it's just the angle I'm looking at it at or if this one is actually a little closer to the screw hole. It doesn't look like it, actually. Anyway. But, uh... Few, few of this, those dreaded silver foil stickers, but they're all applied in places that don't seem to be problematic, or at least have not been. Uh, most of the ones that I've had issue with were issues right out of the box, like Megatron's wings and, uh... some Optimus' stickers when I, when I opened them up. Like, they were, they were starting to peel, like, right out of the box. And I didn't have that issue with him, so that's nice. But anyway, good solid figure. Definitely pick it up if you see it locally. I don't know if I'd pay... Actually, he might even be cool enough to pay a little extra for online if you see somebody selling him. But uh, definitely enjoyed it. Uh, Titan's Return Overlord with his Titan Master Dreadnought. Thanks for watching.